What if you could use this control and this control more like this knob and less like this switch? This week on MC Writer, we're going to learn how to be smooth. So there are lots of ways in life uh, that you can try to be smooth. Some of them are obviously better than others. But on a motorcycle, there's really only one way to learn to be smooth, and that's through repetition and practice. So did you catch the difference between that knob and the switch? The knob provides an infinite degree of application from off to 100% on and 100 points in between uh, off and on, where the switch only provides two options, you're either off or you're on. Too many riders treat their brake and their throttle like that on-off switch. You're either on the brake or you're off the brake. You're either on the throttle or you're off the throttle. In this week's lesson, we're going to learn to treat our brake and our throttle more like that knob where we have an infinite degree of application. I heard a MotoGP rider one time talking about uh, what he was still learning to, to do on a motorcycle and it was his brake application going into a corner. He said what he was working on was learning to use that 5% of his brakes as opposed to 6% of his brakes as he entered into a corner. Now for us on the street we don't nearly need to be nearly that precise but smooth application of our controls uh, can make the difference between crashing on your ride or continuing on your ride. Uh, for example, if you go into a corner and you lean the motorcycle over and you see something uh, in the roadway or a car crosses the, the line into your uh, lane of traffic, the difference between immediately reaching out and applying 100% of your brakes as opposed to a gentle application or controlled application uh, of your brakes can make the difference between crashing and continuing your ride. A properly inflated motorcycle tire in good condition can take a huge load. What it can't take and what it's not good at taking is an abrupt load. So if we're abrupt on the controls of the motorcycle, we're putting that tire uh, in the worst possible position to maintain its traction on the ground. So here are a couple of exercises that you can take uh, out on the street, find a road that doesn't have any traffic like I'm demonstrating uh, here, and you can uh, use these two exercises to work on your throttle and your brake control in a smooth application uh, and develop that habit of using those controls smoothly so that when you need it in an emergency situation out on the road, your first instinct is not to reach out and grab that control and use it in an abrupt manner. On this throttle exercise, you'll keep the bike in first gear. You'll roll on the throttle initially the first 30% of the entire course, and then the last 70% you're slowly rolling off the throttle to become at zero throttle at the point where you stop the motorcycle. So if you'll watch my uh, wrist and hands, we've got a few more examples of this exercise. Notice how it's almost imperceptible to see my throttle hand move. It's a very subtle movement uh, on the throttle, but it will really help you develop smoothness using the throttle if you practice this technique. Let's look at a brake control exercise. This exercise I'm accelerating to about 25 to 30 miles per hour. As I approach a stopping area, I'm smoothly applying that front brake all the way through the stop. You can see here on these uh, close-up views, watch my brake hand in particular. It's a slow, steady application of that front brake, and I'm continuing to squeeze that front brake all the way through the stop. This week on MC Rider, we talked about being smooth on your motorcycle and why it's important. 
giving you a couple exercises to help you develop smoothness in your own writing. So make sure and join us next week as we discuss some other topics that will help you become a better writer.